welcome everybody. This is such a treat mm -hmm. for both of us here on the West Coast to be teaching together. So Siana and I have an idea tonight for you that will involve a great reconfiguration of how you see yourself, Jenny, in your practice and how you see yourself in your life. So go ahead and close your eyes and we'll begin. Mm -hmm. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. There's a beautiful quote that I've been using um, some in my teaching, and it's by Marianne Williamson. Spiritual growth involves giving up the stories of your past so the universe can write a new one. I'm inspired by an assignment that a dear friend of mine has given me in our women's group where we have to, every other day for the next several weeks, take an incident in our lives that has never really sat right with us and rewrite it. It's not that we're pretending it were different. It's that we are literally reconfiguring ourselves to receive another possibility. And in this way, for today, for our practice, I'd like to invite us all to cultivate a level of self-love that we've never known, a level of listening to ourselves and to our hearts that involves such care and such gratitude and so much love. So let's chant together. One Om, and then Siana is going to lead us in a beautiful chant. Inhale deeply. Resting your awareness in your breath, allow your hands to release in a comfortable way, and you can Keep your eyes closed or even open them if you like. And so in the way of love and self-love, we'll chant a little Sita and Ram and Hanuman, um, all the great embodiments of love. And so Hanuman represents how we take refuge in the center of love itself. And all of Hanuman's stories unfold from the essence of love. And Sita and Ram represent and hold the whole field of love that is present within every single one of us. So the steady every day showing up with this state of love and that which is willing to flow and change and be in the great dynamic pulse of the many shades of love and the ways that we are actually called to love through the challenges of life. Okay, so let yourself Rest into your breath and we'll go call in response. Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram That much together. Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Sita Ram Sita Ram Shri Ram Hanuman Sita Ram Sita Ram
Hare Rama, Sita Rama, Sita Rama, Rama Rama. 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 Hare Rama, Sita Rama, Sita Rama, Sri Ram Jai Ram. Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram And bring your left hand over the center of your heart and your right hand into Abhaya Mudra with the palm facing out and the right hand lifted up. And this is the mudra that says, have no fear. And it simultaneously says, um, fear may be there, but there is something so much greater than your fear. And what is greater than fear always is love. And so all the practices of yoga, whatever tradition, whatever style, um, whatever generation of the practice, will root itself in that greater essence and power of love itself. And so allow yourself to take this inner seal, this inner commitment of loving your own self, of rewriting this story of you in a way that is truly of benefit to yourself and all beings. And then bring your right hand gently over your left and let your head bow in, simply resting your awareness into your breath and the awareness of your breath into the abode of your own heart. And as we do the practices, we don't have to try to love ourselves. We simply bring ourselves with full awareness to these practices, breathe deeply, and self-love naturally begins to arise. So thank you very much for being here. I'm deeply honored to be in such great company. Release your hands and opening your eyes. Slowly find your way to downward facing dog. Thank y'all for being here. <clears throat> And we'll be in this dog for just a little while, coming home to our bodies. Take up residence in every part of yourself here. Less important which emotions are present and much more important to see if they are allowed to flow without impediment. Thank you, Sarah Powers. Each of the poses that will flow through is an opportunity to smooth the path for the flow of every emotion. Bring your right foot between your hands, please. Good, and gently straighten your right leg and slowly give way, bowing forward to the floor. Slowly give way. You can keep your back heel off the floor or on, however you wish. And let your belly gently fold. Clear the way for your breathing, your heart.
bend your front knee, jump and switch. Straighten your left leg and gently fold down slowly, slowly, just introducing this opening to your body once again. Make sure your neck is free. Face is soft. Good. And bend your front knee deeply. Good. And step back to your down dog. Take some space. Lengthen along the sides of your waist. And then very gently step your right foot between your hands and bring your right hand fingertips to the upper right corner of your mat. Good. And then stretch your left fingertips to the upper left corner of your mat. And peel your back heel off of the mat if it's been put down and just stretch your whole body super long and start to release and let out anything that is not serving your space right now any doubt, any frustration, any sound, any sadness, any anger, let it out. Good. Very good. And then very gently find your way into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Right hand will stay, left hand comes right on up and stretch open. Beautiful. And as you lengthen from the base of your spine all the way up to the top, top crown of your head, open to receive. There's a huge space and window right in the top of your head that can allow you to receive an entirely new possibility in how you view yourself, how you approach yourself, how you love. Good, left hand to the floor. Step back, down dog. A nice opening there. Good. Very good. Bring your left hand, left foot forward rather. Your left hand fingertips to the upper left corner of your mat, right hand fingertips to the upper right corner and just stretch your body long. Again, from this side, releasing anything that is no longer needed in your interior space. Any impediment to the flow of energy through your body. And inviting in slowly but surely sweetness and ease. Take Ardha Chandrasana, left fingertip stay, right arm comes high, and open the space. Good. Very good. And as you come up, use your lifted leg as an anchor. Keep it parallel to the floor and press it down energetically to lift the inner thigh up energetically and open the interior space just a little bit more, one more full breath. And then gently release your right hand down to the floor and step back, downward facing dog. Good. And take up residence in this body. Excellent. Bend your knees, look between your hands and really gently reach your arms up high. Slowly, slowly jump forward and then reach your arms up high. <laughs> that would have been such a neat, how, how neat would that have been? 
I got so excited. <laughs> Reach your arms high to the sky and stretch your feet down into the ground. And open that space, big smile on your face. Feel the sides of your ribs, all the fascia between the bones of your rib cage opening up. Inhabiting your interior space in a new way. And gently interlace your hands behind your back. And stretch your arms up away from your spine, up away from your seat. Opening your collarbones out to the sides. Opening your shoulder blades out to the sides against this container. Good. And then gently release your hands, reach up. Good. Exhale and fold all the way down, saluting the sun. Inhale your heart forward. And as you exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, my lady. And exhale, back to your down dog, breathing deeply. Turn your right heel down onto the floor at a slight angle, here in dog. Mm -hmm. And then just stretch your left seat super high to the sky. Good, and then switch your legs. Little stretch for the sides of your body. Mm -hmm. Gentle bend to your right knee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, first side once again. Right heel to the floor, gentle bend to the left knee. Left seat high. Good. And switch. Really nice. Good. Come back to your down dog. Bend both knees. And look between your hands. And gently jump forward. Inhale your heart forward. And then fold as you exhale. Beautiful. Bend your knees just a little bit here. Good. And then slowly roll up to stand. Unfurl yourself. Turn your palms to face forward. Standing in Tadasana. Release your arms by the sides. And feel this vessel of your being from earth to sky, from inside out and outside in. And inhale, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Release the hands by the sides. Inhale, breathe up. Exhale, reach wide, fold to the earth. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Press down through your hands, lift up underneath the arms, and inhale, come forward into plank position. Base of the ribs back, tailbone towards your heels. Exhale, slowly lower to the earth. Shoulders back. Inhale, sweep up into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, navel to spine. Inhale, right leg up behind you. Exhale, draw your right knee to the base of the belly. Pause at the end of the exhale. Inhale, slowly re-extend. Exhale, draw your knee over to your right shoulder and pause at the end of the exhale. Navel to spine. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, draw your knee all the way over to the left shoulder and inhale, re-extend. Exhale, step all the way through your hands. Do that same great lunge that you've been doing with Elena. Take your left hand to the front left, your right hand to the front right. Have the right side of your rib cage right up against the inner right thigh. Lift up through the back leg, and then exhale, soften at the base of the heart, the center of your own self-love, and breathe deep. 
Good, now turn your back foot out, put it on the floor and walk your hands over to the left. And stay way up high on your fingers. Widen your front knee so it's right over the direction of your toes. Lift your back inner thigh up. Stay high on your fingertips. And exhale, keep softening at the root of the heart, the root of the practices at the base of the heart, where the third and the fourth chakras meet, that chakra of pure fire. And that's our power in the third chakra. And then it unites with the power of love. And then our power is in service of love when the third and the fourth chakra come to balance. Walk your right arm and shoulder way underneath your right leg. Keep the back foot grounded. Take your left hand onto your hip and wrap your right arm around the back of the body and your left hand around to meet the right. So you're in a bind. There you go. The option, very, the modification is right forearm to front thigh and left arm reaching up to the sky. Keep lifting the back inner thigh up, scoop the buttocks under and turn open from the low part of your belly opening up through your throat. Then everyone, exhale, release your right hand outside the front foot and extend your left arm right alongside your ear. Full Parjva Konasana. Utira Parjva Konasana. Exhale, touch the earth, downward facing dog. Inhale. Round your spine and look to your navel in down dog. Then exhale, open your navel to the earth and look forward to the space between your hands. So it's cat, cow, and down dog. Inhale, roll through the spine, look to the navel, and exhale, open it up. Keep going. Inhale, turning your awareness deep to the core, and exhale, opening, releasing whatever it is you need to release right now. And we'll move that in the same way, but add the great lion's breath on the exhale. So you can open your mouth, stick out your tongue, and as Elena had you in the beginning, like really start releasing whatever is present, whatever emotions have arisen on this day. Open your mouth and make way for the Shakti to move and breathe and align inside your vessel. Twice more, really just let yourself go for it. Last one, even open your eyes, tongue way out. Excellent. Then inhale, pull through into plank position. Exhale, slowly lower to the earth. Thighs back, navel back. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, navel to spine, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Turn the top of the inner thigh in. Exhale, draw your knee to your navel and pause at the end of the exhale. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee over to the left shoulder from underneath. There you go. And inhale, re-extend, stoking that inner fire. Exhale, knee over to the right shoulder. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, step all the way through. Take the Elena lunge, I'm going to call it. I like that. <laughs> Take your arms way wide and forward. Now I'll always think of you when I do this. And keep the whole left side of the rib cage right up against the inner thigh. Squeeze the outer left shin in. Press down through the inner heel. And then navel back, belly back, and extend more fully. Breathe. Ujjayi. Awareness in your breath. Walk your hands over to the right. Turn your right foot out and reach your hands at an angle towards the front right corner of the room. Again, you can go way up high on your fingertips. This will let the hips open with a little more ease. Keep the front left knee wide. So Jenny, widen it a little bit front knee. Widen your front knee, navel back, and extend long and deep with your breath. Walk your left arm and shoulder underneath your front leg and slowly move towards the bind. Modification, left forearm to thigh and right arm straight up to the sky. 
And some of you are wrapping this top arm around and the left arm underneath, coming into bound Parjva Konasana. Energize your legs. Lift up through the back thigh. Root the tailbone under and turn open through the low belly, laying your heart open in a new way. So as you rewrite your own story, it will ask of you to literally lay your heart open in a new way. Vulnerabilities will arise, but through vulnerability opens up intimacy with our own self. Now release the left arm outside the foot and extend the right arm all the way alongside your ear. Full Utida Parjva Konasana. And allow your awareness to blaze through every part of you, through the bottoms of your feet, scintillating through every cell in your body, even into that beautiful opening in the crown of the head that Elena initiated us into. And then exhale, touch the earth and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep forward into plank. Exhale, slowly lower to the earth. Come all the way to your belly. Then take your arms forward, full danda pranam. Arms forward, hands together, feet together. Third eye to the earth. Heart to the earth. Navel to the earth. And give a complete offering of anything that arises in you, any of these emotions or feelings that you don't know what to do with, then take this pose and make it an offering. Start there. And slowly lift yourself up to all fours. Walk your hands forward, Anahatasana, Heart chakra pose, hips over the knees, hands forward. You can begin with the third eye to the earth. And as that feels more open, look forward, place your chin to the earth. And if that keeps opening for you, place the base of the sternum to the earth. And the heart chakra, the great balancing chakra of our power as that which is rooted in love. And first we turn that love into every part of our own being, full activated self-love. We begin here. And slowly come up to down dog. And at the end of your exhalation, bend your knees and step or fly forward, Uttanasana, handstand is always optional. No takers yet. Inhale, <laughs> lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, fold in. Ground down, inhale, and rise all the way up as a great flame of awareness. Join your hands, exhale, to the heart. Elena Davy. Consider somebody in your life who has helped you to transform, who has been there for you and supported you through a moment of true fire. And take a moment and invite them into our space with the deepest gratitude. What a blessing. And release your arms down at your sides, bend your knees, touch the earth. Interlace your hands behind your back. Bring your belly to your thighs, go deeper. Lift your heels up off of the floor, bend more deeply, seat lower to the floor, and then lay your heels back down, and then find chair pose, katas. Good. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart and twist to your right, left elbow outside your right knee. Very good. And sit deeply down into your seat and find exactly this latitude where both your solar plexus and then your heart space begin to open wide. And then gently fold back down once again, forward bending. 
Uttanasana. Good. With your hands on the earth, bend your knees deeply. Take your chair pose once again. And again, find a way in that goes deeper than you've gone. Lifting your heels even just a little bit to get a little bit lower through your seat. Very good. And then with your heels lifted and that lowering down, you can actually then release your heels to the floor, bring your hands to prayer, and twist to your second side over to your left side. Right elbow outside your left knee. Very good. Little smile on your face, breathing deeply. And slowly starting to open very specifically third and fourth chakra, solar plexus, heart space. And allowing the fire of this transformation to really take hold in your body, fearlessly. Good. And then very gently fold down Uttanasana once again. Bowing forward to yourself, to that person whom you have invited into this space as one of your healers and guides supports you through. See if you can relax the back of your neck even more. And then slowly inhale all the way up to stand. Bring your arms up high. Beautiful. Exhale your hands to your heart. Good. Arms down at your sides. Turn your palms to face forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up to the sky. Big, full breath. Find, once again, a standing back bend now. So you're lifting third, fourth chakra up, both front and back of the body. Really consider the back of both of those chakras. Opening, lifting, rising, and expanding from inside. Beautiful, April. Keep your thigh bones back. Relax your seat as much as you can. Good. And then lift your back ribs to fold all the way forward. Uttanasana. Very good. Inhale your heart forward. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Good. And back to your down dog. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. And I'll continue gently with Sianna started. Bring your right arm underneath your right thigh and walk your right foot to the center of the mat. And get nice and low and steady. And use your right arm as a spacer to bend that right knee very deeply. And yes, we are going there. <laughs> Lift your heel up off the floor. Uh -huh. Not quite yet. But Ekapadakundanyasana, yes. Lift your heel up off the floor and slowly walk your right foot out and over to the right. Forward and over to the right. Now bend your elbows, look forward, gaze forward, open third and fourth chakra up and forward out in front of you and lift your back leg high. Big smile on your face. Yes. Beautiful. Chaturanga Dandasana carefully. Excellent. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to your down dog. Beautiful. Bring your left foot outside your left hand. Walk your left arm underneath your left thigh. And just take a moment here before we go anywhere. Just think about third and fourth chakra, your solar plexus and your heart really expanding. These are the two latitudes in our bodies that we want to open to allow this transformation. Okay, slowly lift that front foot heel and walk your front leg forward, forward, open, open to the left. Big smile, elbows bent, gaze forward. Don't forget to smile. And as you come forward, extend those two chakras forward and up and lift your back leg high. Nice, Jenny. Yes. Tremendous. Chaturanga Dandasan. Rachel's got a foot on her head. Go, Michael. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Brilliant, and exhale back to downward facing. Sparing no man. Good. Bring your right foot between your hands. Take warrior three, this will feel very, very sane right now. You can bring your hands to prayer, you can extend them alongside you, but keep thinking about these two chakras and not just the front of your body, but think about right through your body to the back of your body, opening 
at both of these latitudes in your body so that anyone in your space who can help will help you. You're, re you're ready to receive it. And anything that needs to be released can be loosened and released. Hands touch the floor. Chaturanga Dandasan. Upward facing. Nice, and back to your down dog. You guys are beautiful. Bring your left foot between your hands. And take your warrior three. Flying. And from both of these upper latitudes, transforming and reaching, releasing and loving, flying. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Come forward to plank pose now. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Good. And exhale back to your downward facing dog. Yes. Bring your feet to touch. Bring your right leg high to the sky for dog split. Very good. And we'll continue again what Siana began. Bring your right knee to your upper left arm, right across your body. Good. Gaze forward. Bend your elbows. Excellent. Inhale all the way back up, dog split. Mm -hmm. Right foot down to the floor, left leg high to the sky. Very good. And as you bring that left knee down and across you to your upper right arm, gaze forward, heart forward, legs super strong, little smile. Yes. And inhale, left leg high. Beautiful. Come forward to plank pose, both feet down. Very good. Roll over onto your left hand, outside edge of your left foot for Vashistasana. If you need a modification, you can come onto your left forearm. Okay, from here, really focus on these two latitudes in your body, your solar plexus and your heart space. Let them open front to back, back to front, side to side. Feel your breathing, laterally expanding your body, lung to lung. Very good. Right hand down, take your second side, please. And left arm high. Again, opening your lungs laterally to the sides and feeling that space. Beautiful. Left hand down to the floor. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Good. And exhale back to your down dog. Super nice. Okay. Root your inner hands down onto the floor. Make sure that your index finger knuckles are grounded so that all of this opening can occur easily. Nice. Good. Right foot between your hands once again. Okay? This time, Rachel, you shall have your wish. Bring your right arm, uh, bring your right arm underneath your right thigh, left heel to the floor. Okay? It's warm in here. So we have to take advantage. Okay, please walk your right foot forward just a little bit and lift the heel up first and see if you like it that way. Okay, we're going to come into Vishvam, so keep your back heel on the floor. And then put the heel down and lift your toes up second and see if you like it that way. Whatever feels better to you, lift that right foot off the floor halfway. Take your left hand to the outer edge of that right foot. Bend your right knee deeply to start. Walk it forward in front of you and slightly up and begin to lift it off the floor. Good. Reach your seat back behind you to balance that. With your seat back behind you, keep your back leg straight. Stand well on your left foot and begin to unfurl your right leg, tailbone underneath you, right lung long, third chakra, fourth chakra open and lifting. 
Go, Matt. <laughs> Amazing. Release down and come back to your down dog. Beautiful, guys. No small thing. Vishwamitrasana. Okay, come forward to plank pose. Let's just recalibrate there. Lower down, chaturanga through the vinyasa and all the way back to downward facing dog. Uh -huh. Very good. Bring your left foot forward, please. Left arm underneath your left thigh. Right heel to the floor. Left hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Good. And then again, figure out which way you like to lift your foot. Bring your right hand to the outer edge of that front foot. Right heel is on the floor, well on the floor. And slowly begin to lift that left leg off the floor. And as you lift it, balance it by reaching your seat back behind you, keeping your right leg nice and strong and straight. Tailbone underneath you, third and fourth chakra, elevating in the body. Go right. Yes, you guys. There's such a team over here. Wow. Amazing. And slowly lower down. Yes. Come back to your downward facing dog. Be very proud of yourself. Wherever you landed, you just did something you haven't done. And bring your knees back down to the floor. And once again, lower your third eye to the floor. Reach your arms out in front of you in a beautiful pranam and child's pose. And here, we bow to all of the things that need to change. All of the ways in which they have served us until now. All the ways in which we have chosen these things until now. Come up into your quarter dog, reach your sitting bones high to the sky, still in this pranam, still your forehead on the floor, but your sitting bones high, hips over your knees. Good. And let's take a twist before I hand it back to my lady. Bring your right arm underneath your left armpit and take a nice twist there. Let's just work all that Vishvamitrasana out. Okay. And once again, extend third and fourth chakra open. Sides, front, back, circumferentially, and forward. Really nice. Just let your body be here for a few moments. See if you can soften somewhere else. And then gently come up. Brandon, that was very fancy. <laughs> and switch over to the other side. Left arm underneath your right. Good. And stretch long and open. And again, third and fourth chakra opening. Extending, releasing. And then very gently come back to the center. Come onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes. And reach back to downward facing dog. So here in down dog, let's get our Hanuman tail ready to light up. Bend your knees and then you can just wiggle your tail back and forth. So there's nothing very orthodox about this pose in the tradition, but you can make it up. 
And then you can move how you did in the beginning where you turn the feet out and stretch the outer hip back. Bring it through center, turn the feet, stretch the other outer hip back. Then come back through center. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Exhale, step forward between your hands. Bring both hands inside your front leg and put your left knee on the ground. Turn your right foot out to about 2 o'clock. Ground your left hand. Pull the front heel and back knee towards each other. Lift your right arm up. Open through the throat and spread through the center of the heart, through the back of the lungs and the front of the collarbones. Then turn your palm up as you reach back behind you. Reach your right arm back, palm up. Spin the energy from the center of your heart out through your thumb. Bend your left knee and reach with your hand to the top of the foot. Press your foot back into your hand and lengthen up like a great arc all the way from the foot up through the throat and the crown of the head. Base of the navel back. Exhale, bring the heel in closer to the left sitting bone. Many of you can lower down to your left forearm if you like. If you want to go a little deeper, roll to the outer edge of your right foot as you externally rotate this right leg and the front hip, staying active through the whole foot. Long, deep ujjayi breath. It will help in the opening of the hips if your left knee is, set, is at least 8, 10 inches behind the front of the hip bone. So some of you are a little close, you can walk it back. And then open the throat a little more. Inhale, come to center. Keep the position of the Right foot, hands up on the fingertips, then shift your hips back and stretch your right leg straight so it goes wide out to the side. Walk your hands over to the left, pull your right heel down, take your chest forward and move the underside of the hamstrings back more, then lift your belly. Then exhale, scoop the Hanuman tail as you extend the right leg wide and out, left leg back, and if you like, lower down to the forearms, hands, towards Anjali Mudra. Enjoying. That's the key. <laughs> well, you see, I, I love this teaching of Marianne Williamson. And as her, her teachings um, very much root into what the yogis would call inner view, the inner darshan, the inner view that we choose to take. And through her teachings and through the teachings of yoga, it reminds us again and again that we are the ones who cultivate our own inner view, no matter what the outer circumstances look like. So most, of the, most people, most of the time, will meet limiting circumstances, challenging circumstances with limited view. But what the yogi starts to do is to meet what appears to be limited circumstances with an expanded view. And this is the real turning point, tipping point in a yogi's journey. And then we keep doing it again and again every day. Keep breathing. Inhale, pull to center, step back, downward facing dog. Pause here. You can, again, wiggle your tail back and forth. So opening up that sense of ease and play inside. Okay, and then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Bring both hands inside. Lower your right knee down. Turn your left foot from 12 to 11 to 10. Then lift through the chest. Pull the back knee forward. Turn open through your low belly. Reach the left arm up. Pull the left heel back as you take the root of the navel to the spine. Then reach your left arm back and spin from the center of the heart out through the energy of the thumb. Bend your right knee and reach your foot with your hand. Press the foot back into your hand. Feel free to lower to your right forearm. At first, create an expansion. Right, So create a whole expansion of the pose, an expansion of the inner view so that you meet your circumstances with expanded view. Long, deep breathing. Navel back, 
buttocks down, draw your right heel in towards the sitting bone. To open the front hip more, please feel free to roll to the outer edge of your left foot, spread the toes. Base of the navel back. Inhale to center, release the right foot, both hands inside. Keep the left foot turning out, then shift your hips back, stretching the left leg wide. Walk the hands over to the right, and as you're ready, reach the left leg wide and out the right leg, back and turning in, toes curled under, and if you like, fold down onto the forearms. So you just take your leg a little wider and it'll actually be easier, which is the hope. <laughs> there you go. Long, deep breathing. Anchor your left heel down as you wake up through the toes. So you're going to light the little toe on fire with your awareness. And then use the thigh muscles at the top of the left knee to hug to the femur bone and to create safety and power here as you scoop the left buttocks under so that you are in safe refuge in order for the hamstring to open. Safe passageway. So this is what the practices do as they start to insulate us to a certain degree that we can begin that initiation of real deep, true self-love taking refuge in our own practice, taking refuge in love that is always greater than fear. Keep breathing. And then inhale, draw from the navel up and step back, downward facing dog. Really good. Okay, now inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Exhale, draw the knee over to the left shoulder underneath, where we have been a couple times. Ground your back foot, roll onto the right hand and stretch your right leg out, put it on the ground, then lift the left arm up. Lift the hips up, root the right shoulder back, open your throat. There you go, great power from the earth, rising up, open through the throat, exhale, touch the earth, draw your right knee up to your navel and pause, then Inhale, come onto the left hand, outer edge of the left foot, draw your right knee up and try to hold the foot with your right hand and extend the leg up to the sky into little mango Hanuman situation. There you go, so it's the leap up to the fire of the sun. Reach through the mound of the big toe. Exhale, right foot down, right hand down, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll through the spine, look to your navel, and exhale, open through the spine, lion's breath. Four more times. Now open up the gateway of the mouth and the throat. Tongue way out. Let every breath be a full, clear release. That's it. Okay, now after this last one, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, draw the knee all the way over to the right shoulder underneath. Turn your right foot out, weight the left hand, shoulder back, reach the leg out, reach the right arm up. Open up through the throat, lifting up through the hips. Keep the power through the hand and the shoulders, arm bones rooting back. Big inhalation. Exhale, slowly touch the earth, draw the left knee up underneath the navel, pause, then roll to the right hand, outer edge of the right foot, and draw the knee, inhaling up to the belly, then catch the foot with the hand, and inhale, extend up, open through the throat. <laughs> you got it, Michael. One more breath here. You're welcome. And exhale, touch the earth. Downward facing dog. Inhale, a big wave all the way to upward facing dog. Bypass chaturanga, you deserve it. Just go straight through the heart doorway. And then exhale, a big wave up and back, navel to spine. 
Twice more, squeeze the outer forearms in. Inhale, great wave right through. Walk through the doorway of the heart and exhale, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, one great wave. Came through that doorway of total self-love. Rewrite this story and write it right now. Exhale, down dog. And then lower down to your knees, all fours. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee. And foot to sky, flex the foot. Now reach the left hand back to the right ankle. You'll come into a chapasana form. Press the foot back against the hand, left shoulder back, open through the throat and turn your belly open from underneath to the left. You got it. Exhale, release, second side. Left leg up, bend the knee. Reach the right arm back to the opposite foot. The Patanjali Sutras say they begin with Atta, Yoga, Anushasanam. Begin the practices now. Right now, yoga begins. So you could put for the word yoga, you could put love, any form of love. Right now, love begins, not later, not when you're thinking about it one day maybe, but right now. Press the foot back, breathe into the center of the heart, and exhale, release. Come all the way down onto your belly. Done your asana, bend both knees, hold the tops of both feet. Let's hold the tops of the feet. Now come all the way forward onto your chin as much as you can and to the front of the top of the sternum. Then inhale, reach up and press up through the feet and lifting the thighs up. That's it. Now start to lift up through the head and up through the top and the middle and the base of the sternum. Then rock back a bit onto the thighs more and lift up and sweep up from the base of the navel all the way up through the center of the spine, up through the upper palate. Open your throat, soften through your gaze. One more breath. And exhale, release. Let your head rest to either side on the back of your hands. And drink that in. And as you lie here in this pose of gratitude, You can sync up once more with the person that you called and invoked into the practice as Elena was teaching. Someone who has truly been there for you in the way of support. And let the cells of your body imbibe and Breathe in the, the real quality of appreciation that you have for this great being. And please roll onto your back with your head this direction. Setu Banda, Sarvangasana bridge pose. If you are working to help stabilize your low back or your sacrum or any type of herniations in the lumbar spine, please use a block between the upper inner thighs. Then everyone bend your elbows by the sides of the body, fingertips to the sky, open your throat. Breathe, release your hips down to the earth for a moment and relax your breath so that as we move into a few um, sequences of back bends that it is a relaxing journey, even while the prana shakti is, is deeply opened. So relax your breath down into the earth, then press back gently through the upper arms and inhale as if the breath is lifting you up, lift up, rise up through the hips, the outer waist rising up as the inner thighs release down. You can release the hands and clasp them underneath the back of the body and then tuck the shoulder blades up underneath the back of the heart with the strap. Okay. 
Some of you can take this next variation where you walk your feet in a little bit and then hold one ankle and the second ankle with each hand. So you walk your feet in, widen the inner heels, and once you are holding the ankles, with your hands pull down on the shin bones down into the earth. So you anchor down through all four corners of each heel. So you're rooting as the Mahakaya, the great body of rootedness. Root down in order to feel the freedom all the way up through the breath of the heart. And then walk your feet back out and release and breathe. Let one hand rest onto the belly, one onto the base of the heart. Close your eyes. Turning within so that whatever circumstance arises in the outer field, in the outer situation of your life sequence right now, you are cultivating the great capacity to rest into the space of your heart no matter what. And especially in times of um, intensity or adversity or challenge. Keep resting your awareness to the base of the heart so that the innermost knowing begins to avail itself to you in any given moment. And then this will encourage each and every one of us to follow the pathway of love rather than succumbing and giving over to the path of fear, which is so easy to do. Now place your hands alongside your ears, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Feel free to go back to bridge pose with a block between your inner thighs and even a strap around the front of your ankles for greater support. For Urdhva, place your hands, anchor the upper inner shoulders back as you open the throat, and then inhale, hips up. If you like, come to the top of the head, re Wire the hands so they go wider and turn out. Anchor the arms back and inhale, sweep up. Excellent. Okay, now once you come up, walk your feet in closer and lift your heels up so you can release the psoas, the iliopsoas. When the heels are down, it requires a bigger stretch through the hip flexors. So just lift the heels up for the first round. Walk it in and focus on the power of your hands and the power of the shoulder blades lifting up to support you. So you take refuge in your own heart space. Shoulder blades take refuge to the back of the heart. Then walk your feet out and come down and rest. We're going to do another one, so just breathe and rest. And as this Next back bend comes into shape and form. Allow its outer form to arise from the inner form of your own gratitude for this person, for this support, or gratitude for any aspect of your own essence nature. And please place your hands once again Inhale, you can come all the way up into Urdhva. Feel free to stop at the top of the head if you like for greater connection, and then come all the way up. Now this time, walk your feet to a comfortable degree where you can root the heels down. So everyone come on up or take bridge. Then once you have the legs grounded, check in, and if you're stable and clear, take your right hand to the front of your right thigh and pull back and down on this leg and curl the left shoulder blade deeper into the upper back. And then exhale, right hand down, good Heidi. And now left hand up to the front of the thigh. That's it, Maddie. Left hand comes up, holds the front of the thigh. Take one breath here, pull down. Lift up through the right shoulder blade. And now both hands down and walk your feet out 
and come down and rest once more. That's it. Excellent. Really good. Assimilate that all in. We'll do just one more little pathway here. Please roll to the side. Take downward facing dog. Luscious and loved. The beloved down dog, especially right now. Can you just, yes, you can make all those releasing sounds. You know this one. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now stretch it out through the whole body. This one will have a possibility of pathways. Lower your knees down. For many of us, we're going to clasp the hands together, elbows shoulder distance apart, and take a form of dolphin pose like so. So it's very stable. Then you bend your knees, lift your heels, and focus on widening the hips and breathing through the base of the heart. So you're simply in this pose, breathing in such a way that it keeps melting all resistance within you to loving your own self. Now those of you who like to take a little deeper form, you'll lower the knees down and put your forearms parallel, like a Pinchamayarasana, so the forearms are parallel, fingers straight forward, and then relift the hips, walk in, and you can come up into the inverted flame of Pinchamayarasana. So either stay in Dolphin 1 or come into the second form of Dolphin and even invert it. Then friends who are inverting, feel free to bend your knees and reach through the inner heels and sweep this great melted heart forward and move towards scorpion. And you're just simply, all you're doing is not really this big extravagant pose. You're simply melting your heart into that full self-love, whatever form you're in. One more breath here. And then everyone lower down and come once more into Anahatasana, into heart chakra, hips over knees, fingertips forward, third eye or chin or the root of the heart. And really relax deep inside. And please open your knees, shift your hips back, belly soft, hands together. Third eye to the earth, pranam. <laughs> Keeping your elbows to the earth, let your hands lift up and place them on the back of your head. inner namaste, a bowing to the everythingness that you are. Beautiful Elena will continue to guide you. Very slowly, come forward and lie down once again on your belly. And take full pranam once again, arms out in front of you. <clears throat> Hands in prayer, all the way out there. To yourself. To you and everything that you have been through and everything that you have endured and all that you have learned, known, seen, heard, felt. And the service to the world that all of it provided. May this day, may this life be full of this knowing. Now take this time now to 
really truly consider one, one aspect of your experience that you know you would like to release, finished, served its purpose, ready to roll, ready to go. <clears throat> Again, with deep consideration of the blessing that it's been, giving it up so the universe can, in fact, write you a new story. And then very slowly, bend your knees open to the sides. Frog pose. Okay. Sides of your knees right on the inside, out to the sides of your mat. Feet are going to touch to the best of your ability. And then press into the floor to move your seat back and open this up to the best of your ability. The play here is to allow your seat to soften. The level of softness and receptivity that we have to practice in order to let go, in order to transform. There's less work, less doing, and more releasing, more softening. This quality of allowance in the body, in these moments. Attuning to the sensation of it without forcing any improvement. That's the transformation. and the diminishment of this tension anywhere in the body. We're creating neural pathways toward loving kindness toward ourselves. Very slowly, let's stretch your legs out behind you. Oh, with so much gratitude for these hips. And stretch your legs long, point your toes, press the tops of your toes into the floor, sweep your arms out in front of you, not dissimilar to the very first lunge we did, and just stretch your body long, back to front, top to bottom. Lifting third and fourth chakra, opening them out to the sides, back, front, relax your seat, Lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms. And very gently bring your hands next to your chest and press up to sitting. A couple of choices. You can sit in Vajrasana, rock pose. You can sit in Virasana with your heels outside of your seat. <clears throat> or you can come to lie back in Virasana, if you wish, okay? All options, all working, all beautiful. We'll do a beautiful breathwork practice with your eyes closed. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Mouth stays open, inhale. Exhale through your nose. Okay, so inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale through your mouth. Exhale through your nose. 
Continuing in that way, inhale nose, exhale your mouth, inhale your mouth, exhale nose. Very good, keep going. Very slowly, close your mouth if it's open and finish the cycle to come back to Ujjayi breathing. If you are reclining, you may go ahead and begin the process of rising up. And slowly find your way back into your last down dog of today. And then slowly come forward and from plank pose, lower yourself down very generously and gently to the floor. And you may take Shavasana on your belly or on your back. You may find that your belly feels really right right now. So please don't hesitate to do that. <clears throat> As you like.
Open the silence in your body.
And very gently begin to deepen your breathing. But keep your bodies quite still. Spiritual growth involves giving up the stories of your past so the universe can write you a new one. Very gently begin to invite your knees into your chest. And roll to your right side. And slowly come on up to sitting. Bring our left hand to our heart and our right hand to a Baya Mudra. Allow your eyes to be at that half open, half closed gesture, which is symbolic that we are opening our vision inside the root of the heart, even while we are fully awake and aware of what's happening in the outer world. And so we are open and aware in both directions, inside and outside, simultaneously. And with this great mudra of Abhaya, we fearlessly move through the journey of our life, connected to the power of the heart, our heart, And we know and we open with experience through the practices that love is always greater than fear. And may this be our ultimate directive, our source of guidance. And may each one of us in this lifetime remember that we are one. and all forms of misidentification be dissolved and the root of any part or any one of us thinking that we are separate from the whole be entirely dissolved into the great ocean of love. And bring the right hand over the left the hands opening into Anjali Mudra. And as we chant a blessing om together, take the opening Lotus Mudra. So for this to happen, the heels of the hands and the thumbs and the little fingers stay together as the fingers flower open into the Lotus Mudra. And we'll do that as we're chanting om. Inhaling. To all of our teachers, to our families, may each of us be an instrument through which others may learn benevolence and listening and prosperity. Hold your hands together. Let's bow to each other. Namaste. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.